this is by far the closest thing that I've ever smelled to Silver Cap Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Josh here. I'm very, very, very excited to do a review today on Dua's copy of the classic vintage Fierce. Now, Dua fragrances, as you probably already know, super high quality fragrance house, one of the, like many elite fragrance houses that have come out where just everything they put out is spot on. Duo is one of the very first ones to do it. They go after a lot of vintage formulations. Today they're going after vintage Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce, one of my favorite scents of all time, if not my favorite scent of all time for me personally. This is me personally. I absolutely love the scent. I ended up ordering two bottles of the vintage Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce from 2005. The very first formulation of Fierce came out in 2002. And apparently if you go out online, every time they redo the bottle, they redo the formulation as well. So apparently I've never really smelled the original formulation of Fierce from 2002. Apparently it's a little bit more warm and spicy smelling compared to the other ones. That's from just what I've heard. And that's also a long, long time ago. So who knows how it was kept and if um, the juice is even going to be degraded to even try there. So what I'm going to be trying against is the Silver Cap Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce, which... I kind of have mixed opinions about sometimes it smells really outdated, old and weak and sometimes it'll surprise me how strong it smells and how good it smells. I actually wore this for a week. I made a video about it. Phenomenal fragrance. I think I got compliments three out of seven days with it. And you know, to be honest, sometimes I only get compliments a few times a month. So I was really racking up the compliments with this fragrance. Loved it back then. Love it now fires on all cylinders. So how does it compare to Dua's new version? Now I gotta say right off the bat, this version of Abercrombie Fitch Fierce, the main reason why it can't come back is because the ingredients, a lot of them have been altered or changed. One of the main ingredients for this is ISO E Super and that was cut back to 25%. And I think this was originally used about 48%. So it was a very ISO E Super dominant fragrance. Even if people had a demand, like bring back the classic version, you almost couldn't, you'd have to recreate it. So a lot of people have tried. Duo is gonna give their best attempt with it yet. And again, it's not like they can look at this and be like, oh, they use these ingredients. We'll put those ingredients in and smell it they have to recreate the smell using only ingredients that are legal to use right now which makes it very 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 hard but that being said this is by far the closest thing that I've ever smelled to silver cap Abercrombie and Fitch fierce it's very fiercey in the way it smells but it's totally different you can totally tell it's different than Abercrombie and Fitch fierce intense than the new fierce is right now it's almost kind of got a little bit of this high pitched kind of smell versus the other Fierces and the Fierce Intense. One of the days I actually tried Fierce Intense versus this. One of my subscribers, Josh Platner, suggested that I do it. Very good. I guess that um, makes sense because people looking for that classic Abercrombie and Fitch smell are going to go for Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce Intense nowadays. Pretty much they advertise it as the best thing you're going to get to the classic Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. But I want to say this is a lot more of a high pitched, lighter smell than the new Fierces. The new Fierces are a little bit more grounded, a little bit more thick, and a little bit more dark. Fraction because it still smells the same it's not like a huge jump but that's definitely noticeable to me and when i tried the 2016 fierce intense it was a lot more thick and a lot more toned down this one's a lot more high pitch smelling versus the newer version so i do want to say do a kind of nails exactly what makes this smell like this they it really smells 100 percent unique to it if i were to just spray this and get a whiff of it um, I would think it's this version of Fierce because it's it's just going after the same exact things. I totally 100% get it. But like I was saying before, they can't use the same ingredients. So what do I notice different about it? I would say this is about 95% the same. I would say Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce. It has definitely more of a transparent vibe. I have to look for it. But once I look for it, I definitely notice that there is a lot more transparency than there is in this. And I think that's due to the Ice Wee Super, Ice Wee Super fragrances, including Fierce, in my opinion, from my, every time that I've smelled them, Ice Wee Super is kind of like a morphing note. You could smell it one time and it smells super good, just perfect. Like how could anything smell better than that? And then you smell it another time and it'll smell flat or whatever, just simple. That's just what it is to me. Two thirds of the time, I would say it smells good in its own way. And then another third of the time, it doesn't smell bad. It's just not really that impressive. And that's kind of what I got with this. My Sweet Super also is kind of a transparent kind of a feel when apparently if you smell it by itself, you almost feel like you smell nothing. I definitely get a little bit more of a transparent feel 
with this, but I would say the trade-off is that this Abercrombie Fitch Fierce is a lot more predictable because it has a, probably a less amount of ISOE Super, but it probably still has some in here. It smells just a lot more spot on. Every time I've smelled all these Fierces, they all have that similarity of about two thirds of the time they smell very, very good. About a third of the time they kind of smell off and they kind of smell a little weird. This version, I don't get any bits of that. So you kind of lose a little bit of that morphing transparency that you had in the other Fierces, but it is also more predictable and almost no off-putting, you know, vibes at all. If this is a lot cheaper than what it costs for Vintage Fierce online, I could see a lot of people just faking this for Vintage Fierce because it really 100% smells like it. And I wish you guys could smell these old bottles of it just so you could know 100%. I feel like some people are going to smell it and they're going to be like, is that what it smells like? Hopefully I would have loved this, love it for a smell if I got this and I never smelled these. But what really, really made me love it is because I, I love this smell and I can only get this smell on the classic Vintage Fierce and they actually have it in this one. So I really, really just absolutely love this fragrance, guys. Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce is, you know, obviously a very sexy, musky kind of fragrance. It's not really something that uses a lot of high quality notes or something that screams niche fragrances. So you could get something that copies, you know, more of a niche style fragrance than this. This is kind of more of just, you know, musky everyday style wear. But I gotta say, I really, really, really enjoy this stuff, guys. They nailed it as pretty much as best as they could. I would say 95%. Like I said there, I do notice a little bit of um, less um, transparency versus the original. And I do find the original Fierce to have a little bit of this lemony quality that it's really weird. The lemony quality kind of, it's it's always there, but it's always so, so, so slight. And I get it. And I, I obviously get more transparency with this one. When I tried Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce Intense, Oh man, I really loved Abercrombie Fitch Fair sometimes when I smelled it again. Every time I smell it, I'm like, you know, that's not 100% what this is smells like. It's it's kind of like a really fantastic impression of what it smells like. Um, you know, very very good and I really really enjoyed it, but um I smelled this one has like a watermelon vibe. New Fierce have like a watermelon style smell that you could pick up and I could smell a little bit of it with this one. Like a little bit more watermelon, a little bit more musky. And it did kind of smell off-putting at times. Like I said, they all can smell a little bit off-putting in their own ways. The Dua, I didn't. But that's just the way Fierce is. And I always will love Fierce, you know, forever. You know, every time I've ever worn it, every time I ever go back to it, I love it. It just does everything I want it to do every time. That's just me personally. I love it. So anyways, guys, if you're wondering if you should get this, I would say 100% yes. I would say it performs around the same amount as my Vintage Fierce. Well, I would say maybe, maybe Fierce Intense might last like an hour or two longer because it is a little bit more thicker and stuff like that. But it lasts, lasts a long, long time. You know, just, just about as long as the Silver Cap. And I also do want to say about 30 minutes in an hour in, this is much more prominent smelling than the silver cap. I kind of have to give it probably just because this one's aged, you know, a while. When I did try this, wearing this for a week, I would spray, you know, probably a lot, like five, six times if I was going out. This one you probably wouldn't need as much, but fantastic guys. If you're looking for the Vintage Fierce, this is as close as it comes. And I really wish you could smell this so you would know back to back. Um, this has a unique smell and this is the only thing that I've smelled that goes after that old classic smell. So anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video. You guys are the best. Let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what you think of Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce. Have you tried this? Have you tried any of the new formulations? I'd be very interested to see down below. But we're on the road to 25,000 subscribers, and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.